we have a delta, we have a gap. The gap is between our capacity to innovate and frankly, the, our capacity to be entrepreneurs. Maryland as a state and as a university here is a huge inferiority complex. And it has no idea how competitive it is. We have to change that. But am I happy at this point, Pedro? No. <laughs> Because we have not realized our glory, our full glory yet. And as I've always said as an entrepreneur, when there's money out there, I want my fair share. <laughs> and it's the same thing here. You know, when there's success out there, Maryland deserves its fair share. That's the reason that I started a company here. Because I think there's a tremendous latent opportunity for the kinds of software I'm interested in, which is right now consumer-facing software, uh, to really thrive. And I think we just need a few what I call anchor tenants here. We need, you know, we've got Living Social in D.C., which is pretty interesting. New one, uh, we had AOL, it's been for a while in Virginia, but we're sort of lacking right now our Google. And this, uh, this, this area can support a Google, there's absolutely no question. And I think once it has that, then that'll drive people to think more in terms of this kind of marketing aspect. That, oh, I'm going to go to Maryland, because that's where you start companies. It's amazing, uh, you know, the success stories that are right here if we just kind of grabbed onto them and uh, recognized them. One of the things that we passed last year was something called Invest Maryland. We are going to be deploying somewhere between 70 to $80 million in venture capital into some of Maryland's most innovative companies. It's a public-private partnership. Two-thirds of the money will be put into private venture capitalists that will manage their money for us. One-third will be coming through our state venture fund. Now you might say that sounds like a lot of money. The last time we put $25 million into our state venture fund, in 16 years it returned $61 million. It created 2,000 jobs, a billion dollars of capital. Follow our money into the companies we help seed. I started a company in LA, uh, I started a company in Boston, and the best talent base I've seen was here. Maryland offers a better talent base, it has better weather, we're more on top of the quality of life issues, and we have more affordable and better quality housing. As long as we stay on top of those things, we can make this sort of the premier place on the East Coast to do startups.